I'm Jason. And I'm Tess. And welcome back to another episode of Small Talk Arkansas. Here we are, not at our kitchen table. We are not at the table. Um, we're actually standing in the parking lot of Dickie Stevens Park. Yeah, we're not in the woods, we're not at the table. Yeah. We are. Uh, with the corona going on, you know, getting out and about right now is a little bit difficult, but uh, there's there's a lot of people that have been asking us and requesting uh, to, for us to do uh, an overview on our van, basically a walkthrough on our van, and so that's what we wanted to bring to you guys today. Yeah. If you're not familiar with the channel, you know, thanks for checking us out. We hope that you like this video, and we'll, we'll subscribe to the channel, and go ahead and smash that like button right now. And uh, share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. But anyway, our, our channels, we, we talk a lot about the outdoors, we talk about travel, van life, mm -hmm. uh, any, any and all kind of things. We, we do a lot of different topics, but you know, we do travel a lot in a van. We do. And so we get a lot of requests for people that are interested in, in taking, a, taking a look at the van and checking it out. So and it's like every time we stop at a gas station, there are people, what, what's in there? What's in there? It's what like, do you do? It's like the van has more fans than we do. Uh, the van probably does have more fans than we do. We can understand. So we can. we're going to give you so, a uh, a tour of the van, of the van uh, right now. So let's let's take a look. All right, guys. What we've got is a 2019 Winnebago Revel. Oh, uh, Basically, Winnebago took a 2018 Mercedes Sprinter van. It's a 2500 Sprinter van. It's a 44E, and it's four-wheel drive, and they've taken it, Winnebago took them, and converted them into RVs. We've got some mods on ours. If you look on this side, there's, there is the, the, there's a ladder that goes up the back side. This was uh, created by Backwoods Adventure Mods created this ladder for, for our van and it's available for, this is actually the first one that was made for the Revel. So this mounts up to the side of the van and to the roof rack that was the original uh, roof rack that came on the van way sturdier than the standard ladder it is way sturdier than the standard ladder Which it, is good for me right now it's good for this pregnant lady that's <laughs> not climbing up and down the van so we we often talk outdoors and van life we also uh if you don't notice we're, we're going to be talking baby life real soon yeah, so we are. um this this van has the upgraded uh method racing wheels and it has the bf good wrench uh, ko2 tires so those were upgrades and and it's uh on all four here on the on the van walking around the van if you look we've got uh, a backwoods adventure mods uh bumper yeah we recently spent some time with them that we just got added onto the van and it's got all of the extra lights and like uh, rigid lights it's got a worn rent winch hope that you never need it but uh because it is four-wheel drive and we do stay off grid quite a bit in it if you uh, find yourself in some trouble that can help you out it's certainly better to uh, have it and not need it than the need one and not have it so walking around the rest of the van uh down the sides we're, we're pretty stock um, we'll talk about there is an awning up there. It's a, a retractable awning and we'll talk about that a little bit uh, in, in a second, but um, going around the rest of we on the back here. We also did a modification So the swing away rear bumper and boxes by uh, Backwoods Adventure Mods It's a single hand operation just opens up and the boxes swing right away you can get several different configurations with these, but we decided to go with the boxes on both sides. What that allows us to do is enter freely our back doors. So the back door is completely open uh, from here. It'll open all the way up and that allows us to get in and get out uh, without any encumbersomes. And you can see there's the, the regular stock trailer hitch on the back as well as uh, the lights. While we're here and we're down on the ground, basically this is our garage guys so that's the bed up there and it's on tracks and it and it drops down and turns into a full-size bed um and and this is our garage area so while we're going up and down the road or we're traveling or going anywhere we've got plenty of storage to take our gear uh whether that's paddle boards if we want to put them in here 
um, what, whatever type of outdoor equipment, bicycles, whatever we want to take along with us, they're all here. There's an outdoor shower right here. There's a hot and cold outdoor shower. So if you do want to take a shower outside the van, you're, you're capable of doing those things. Plenty of tie down straps for your gear while you're going in. And about, we'll show you how the bed works. Um, there's screens up top there. So we throw those up on the bed, but when you lower uh, the bed down, you can you can hook up those screens and, and it makes it kind of, uh, it keeps you bug free. So uh, that's a nice option. But basically we, we got these boxes um, so that we could store generators uh, in, in the van. We run two small generators in the van. If you see up top, we've got an air conditioner on the roof and that air conditioner needs to be plugged into either a Sure Power or it needs to be plugged into a 30 amp uh, plug that has enough juice to, to support the, the roof. And so the van is solar. It's got 200 watts of solar panels on the roof, but these boxes are large enough for small generators for us to plug in there and be totally off grid and totally um, support. If you're you know in the South this time of the year right now, it's the, the heat indexes are well over 100 degrees today and you do not want to try to go to sleep at night uh, in the van without yeah, air conditioning. it's over 100 degrees uh, right now. It is over 100 degrees right now if you see the glistening on Tessa's I'm face. I'm glowing. I'm glowing. <laughs> or glowing. <laughs> so this is uh, the upgrades that we've done there. You can see those. Um, again, you can see the aggressive styling of the uh, 44e with the the, the off-road wheels and tires the van will go places you can you can definitely go go get out and do some things we've done a lot of exploring and uh, the beauty of it is you can completely stay off grid so here on the outside there is a, a an automatic awning that you can see that that is pulled out right now and uh, this gives you protection from the sun and the, and uh, even the rain elements if you want to sit out here underneath. We typically have our, our morning coffee for sure at this table right here, which folds out from the kitchen counter. Um, we, we have our, you know, we eat a lot of meals at this table. Um, there's an extension of the kitchen counter there that, that Tess has just pulled out. And you can even drop that, that piece down and it can turn into a second bed for um, small trap, small passengers. The front seats uh, do swivel. Both of them swivel all the way around. So if you are stopped uh, for the night, uh, we put up the sun shades all the way around the windows and uh, turn these seats around, and they become a, a, a lot of extra room up in the, in the front of the van. So in the front of the van, there's also a small fold down table here. When you swivel the driver's seat, you've got the opportunity to uh, sit in the, on either side, either in the bench chair or in the driver's seat. It's a good work space if you want to sit inside. Uh, most people that own vehicles like this actually want to spend a lot of time on the outside of the vehicle, and that's why the, the table is over here. Um, you can work on your laptop. You can do whatever right here on the side of the van without any problems. Um, up above the, the driver's seat, there's some storage uh, areas up here. Uh, we just store sunglasses and hats and things Makeup like bags. that in it. Makeup bags. There's a solar panel. Um, up above, we've installed the shelf. And there's quite a bit of storage up here. As you can see, we've got a lot of camera gear up there. Um, there's a drone sitting right there with a solar panel that I just put on it. Uh, quite a bit of just other stuff that this allows us to, uh, you know, uh, use a lot of, utilize a lot of space that, that, you know, for things that would typically be on the floor uh, before we installed that shelf. So that, that was a good addition. Um, there are, in the van, there's LED lighting underneath all of the cabinets. Uh, you can even turn them up or turn them down, kind of set the mood if you want to. Here's one of the above top cabinets that come in the unit. These are all made of aluminum, so they're very lightweight. Uh, we've added these bungee cords to keep things from falling out of them when you uh, open the doors after you've been on some rough roads. Or We kind of had an accident. We, we've had a couple of accidents. Um, in here, we've got a sink. So there's a sink right here. 
um, we can store 21 gallons of fresh water on, on board. So we can use that to do dishes, brush our teeth, shower, use the bathroom, do all of those things. Um, there's a, an induction cooktop uh, right here. It's a glass induction cooktop, works really well. Uh, water boils really fast, you cook food inside. Uh, and no need for propane or anything, no other fuels on board. So, so that's really nice. Uh, there's another cabinet there above. Um, refrigerator down here below, small refrigerator unit. Um, doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't hold a whole lot. Um, it, but it's it certainly if you're going to be off the road for, for four or five days, you can you can pack wisely and, and put most of your food in there. Um, there's some drawers here and a pantry there on the far side of the, the cabinets. Over here on this wall, we've got um, pretty much all of the controls for the unit. So you've got your battery can uh, battery tell your battery levels, your tank levels. Um, we've got a gray tank. We do not have a black tank on this unit and I'll show you why in a minute. The, the toilet is actually a cassette toilet um, so it, it, there's no need for a, a black water tank. Um, there is a hot water tank. It is instant hot and it can heat up two different ways. Um, you can either heat it up with electricity um, or it can be he heated up with the furnace through the diesel, the actual diesel fuel. So there is a furnace on board and the furnace does run the diesel fuel um, to, to heat the, the unit in the winter. And you can actually be in the, the, the facility or in the unit during the winter without your water freezing. So that, that's a, a, a plus uh, to this unit. There is, uh, as we talked about, a drop down bed um, here in the back and you can just push this. Con well, there's a, there is a switch, there is a, for safety, a belt there. that is hooked. And um, when you put that belt down, you can drop the bed. And um, it's a nice comfy bed. Uh, easily sleeps two adults back there. It's full size. If you notice the flares on the outside of the van, uh, the purpose for those flares was so that you could sleep side to side like this and uh, basically it will uh, it's six foot four inches uh, in the bed area from one end to the other um, and so that uh, excuse my OCD-ness uh, that was up there a little bit but you can see the flares over here there's one on the the passenger side and another one on the wind the driver side that, that actually has a window in it here's our sun shades for the front windows and all of the other windows have these built-in shades that have a screen um, or a blackout so th those are pretty handy there's lights back here some reading lights there's also the above uh, lights, the LED lights. So the units pretty well come together. There's there's power pretty much everywhere, both your your USB plugs, um, and in turn there's there's actually 110 units, um, and everything in here runs off the solar. So the refrigerator runs off the solar power. Uh, or plugged in if you want to plug into a sure power the uh, the cooktop runs on the solar um, you can realistically be off grid in this unit for a couple of weeks if you use your water correctly and manage your your electricity without having to be plugged in anywhere so you can be totally completely off grid um, as far as a restroom goes we've got one the unit has a, what's called a wet bath so this um, bathroom uh, has a folding door here um, and it has a toilet um, that swivels so you can swivel the toilet uh, based on your being in or, or uh, if you're taking a shower or you're, you're using the facilities. Um, there's an overhead light in the bathroom. So you can take a, you can use it, uh, use the restroom in here. Um, you can also take a shower. It has uh, hot and cold water, uh, a shower curtain. The shower curtain actually hangs out here to the edge of the door um, and take a shower in there. 
and uh, there's a there's a, a fan to to let your hot air out while your your humidity and moisture while you're taking a, a shower. So it's very usable. Um, there's shelves that go on these brackets right here. If you just want to use this as a closet uh, while you're traveling from site to site and and use it for additional gear, um, they've got the bamboo shelves like the bamboo that's there on the floor. Uh, there's bamboo shelves to go on each one of those three uh brackets there and you can put lots and lots of gear duffel bags bedding bedding materials those types of things in this this bathroom while you're uh going down the road when it's not a hundred degrees all of these windows tilt out so this window the window back in the bedroom and then the window on the sliding door all tilt out so you can have them open even during uh rain while it's raining the screens are down if you want to have the screens down um and and rain will just kind of pour off of those windows and so you can turn on this fan here which is a max air fan and basically that will pull in cool air from outside or airflow and pulls it out the roof or through the ceiling of the van under normal conditions when it's you know below 88 uh, or 80 anytime it's below 80 at night realistically you can sleep in here with that max fan going and uh, it, it produces enough airflow for for your for you to be comfortable when you sleep there is an air conditioner unit in the back half of the van or over the bedroom area so when you are uh, plugged into some sort of power that can power that other than just your solar power um, then you can run the air conditioner and sleep very comfortably at night no matter really what the temperature is this seat the back cushion actually comes off this table here folds down uh, drops down and then you put this could the back cushion there that's for a third passenger a third passenger can ride in there and you can put this this cushion across this and someone can sleep across this area typically speaking um, it's going to be someone smaller so so a child uh, or somebody or, or just somebody a little bit smaller this small table right here just drops back into panel in the wall if you don't get your seat belt caught in it and uh, goes away and you just turn your chairs back around um, and, and you're ready to go on to to the next spot the next adventure on the back doors inside the garage we've got the the sunscreens uh, these are basically our window blinds that are hanging down from the bottom and you just we just leave them hanging there so they're out of the way and put up and then we just fold them up um, and you just connect them to the snaps at the top and that gives us complete privacy uh, from those two windows in the back and then all of these other windows have the privacy blinds that you can pull up we black out the front windows with the sun with the sun blinds that that came with the, the vehicle so there's another bug screen that goes down here over the outside door so there's a screen that drops down here and it's got a zipper that zips up and down like a tent door uh, that keeps the bugs out there's the table with it being folded up out here we've got the the awning again and this awning is got wind sensors in it so should the wind pick up this awning will actually retract automatically but uh, Tess is going to go ahead and put it in right now since we just kind of had it out uh, for for demonstration purposes uh, but this is our 2019 Winnebago Rebel. Obviously, we've done some modifications to our. As of this month, July 2020, at the time we recorded this, we've actually had this van for two years. So we've had it on a lot of different adventures. We've made some modifications to it to make it our own. We've got it figured out on kind of how to pack it out in the small spaces. You have to figure out how to pack very, very well. Uh, to, to, Which, uh, let's be honest, neither of us are very good at, but we're learning. So you pack it out, you pack it in, you pack a lot of uh, things that can be used as multiple items and you pack out for your adventure, uh, whatever that might be, and, and uh, hit the road. The vans like this, what they really do is give you the freedom. Um, you don't have to pay for campgrounds uh, with, with all of the things that are built in. You can kind of just camp dispersed anywhere you, you really want to camp. Um, it, it's, it's a little harder in our van with the bumpers on it, the modifications that are on it to do what's called stealth camping, and that's camping literally inside of a city. 
But in an empty parking lot like we're in right now, uh, there probably would be no problems if we just pulled it in one of these spots right here tonight, backed it up, and, and uh, put up our, our window coverings and got inside and went to, went to sleep. So it's, it's a, the, the, the beauty of it is um, you can be in a city or you can be out in the woods and uh, you can just, wherever you are, that can be home. Well, we thank you for visiting us with another episode of Small Talk Arkansas. Please, if you've got any questions about our rig, or any of the modifications that we made to it, or just anything about van life, we'd love to answer those questions for you. We'd be happy to show you some of the ways that we pack out our gear and, and get it all fit up in here and some things that we've done to make our lives a little easier in the small space that we have. Maybe do some cooking in the van? When we are out and about. So those are things that we can do in some future videos. But if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. Hello. We know you have some friends. You've got some friends. They want to see the van too. Thanks for checking out Small Talk Arkansas and our adventures in van life. Mm -hmm. We'll see you later.